Welcome to Beer Untapped with Perry Miller, the podcast. I'm joined by Seth. Hey, welcome, guys. Thanks for finding us on uh, on, the, on the internet. Now, these shows originally aired on Brookings Radio, but now they're all here for your enjoyment. I hope you like it. There you go. Sit back, enjoy the show, relax. Uh, let us know if you want to see anything on future shows. As we said, the, this comes out live in the Brookings area, but enjoy this archive episode. Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. Welcome to Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. Among the many interesting aspects of the craft beer revolution is the way it has gone hand in hand with social media. The two have kind of grown up together. It's a social drink, you know. When you go out for beers, it's uh, you usually sit down and, and chat with friends or the bartenders, or whatever else. And in the world we live in today, that just is extended onto online. Lots of interactions, lots of different ways to. Uh, you know, to to, rem- to log your beers, to promote your beers, to grade your beers, to share your beers with friends. Um, and I think the craft brewing industry, as, as it's grown over the last 10 years, uh, and even long, 15 years, but has really grown hand-in-hand hand with, with the digital area, with social media. That is Seth Cook from Wooden Legs Brewing at Brookings. He says the obvious place to begin the craft beer journey with social media is Facebook. All of the breweries out there maintain a Facebook page. Uh, they usually put what's on tap or what's coming soon. Uh, they usually share. Now they even share live videos with some of their, uh, you know, some of, from some of their festivals. Promote um, events. Promote obviously. events. And then you know, obviously, the utilitarian fact of it is, if you're traveling to a new city, you can usually put beer in the city. And you'll get their, you know, get their address and see what they're when they're open and what credit cards they take. So I mean, just uh, uh, just the just the function of finding them works really good on Facebook. He says Yelp can be another useful site. Kind of a social generated review site. Breweries and restaurants do a real good job, kind of promoting their brand on it. But the nice thing about Yelp is Yelp is really contributed by the community. You know, the the brewery or the restaurant can can show you pictures of what they have and put their menu on it. But the reality is, is the Yelp ratings are generated from the community, the people that have done it and reviewed it. So I guess that's a little bit more bar restaurant centric. A site that's a lot of fun and focuses entirely on beer is untapped. And by the way, that's spelled without an E. If you're out just having beers um, and looking for ratings, untapped is a fantastic way. Untapped started as an app five, six years ago. It's not desperately like old, that, yeah. um, but it is a, you know, it's a social media platform where you get to look up the beer you're having. I think you can even scan it by its barcode now. Type out your rating or your review. Add and a picture if you want. Add a picture, right? And post it. And then you have friends on Untap that can see that, and it. I think their their theme is, you know, drink socially. Have It's okay to, uh, you can earn awards, because everybody likes awards that aren't actually worth anything, but they're fun to earn anyway. It's a bragging rights. It's a formal digital bragging right. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, there is some utility to it as well. Uh, you can you can follow breweries to see if that brew becomes available in your area. You know, you can always uh, check into different venues to see what is on tap there or what people have been drinking there. So there's a pretty good utility uh, to, to Untapped as well. We'll have more Beer Untapped with Perry Miller right after this. Welcome back to Beer Untapped with Perry Miller as we talk about craft beer and social media. Untapped has become the primary beer-centric social media site. As Seth said, it allows you to rate and review beers and see what your friends are drinking you can also see what's trending and what's being sipped all around the world. All over the world can constantly feed into you know what what beers they're uh, what beers they're drinking in comments and and it's it, it's pretty cool. Uh, we use it as a brewery. We like to just monitor it to see where our beers are at, and that's kind of just a fun. Hey, somebody checked in at Tap House Forty One down in Sioux Falls, so it's kind of fun to see where our beers end up. Then there's Twitter. Brewers and brewery owners will sometimes engage in conversations. And there's all kinds of beer info available. There's a number of accounts on Twitter that are primarily focused on the beer and the culture. Uh, Will Wheaton actually is a really big beer fan. You may remember Will Wheaton from the days as Wesley Crusher on <laughs> on Star Trek, um, or maybe more recently as Will Wheaton playing himself on Big Bang, Bang Theory. So, Will Wheaton actually has uh, a pretty big beer following, and he does a, he does does a good job on on Tapped and on Twitter. And you know, I, you know, Twitter is kind of a it, it, it's kind of an equalizer. You know, everybody has a voice on Twitter. So if we're, if it's 
politicians or business owners or consumers. You know, the, the, the conversation can be had. There's also Instagram and Snapchat. Minor Brewing Company does a really good job with their Instagram page. I mean, it's cool. It's cool to see the pictures. It's cool to see what's going on behind the scenes. I know people love seeing kind of brew days and, you know, it's cool. That's why you drink craft beers because you, you, you have a relation to it. It's, you understand and you get to meet the people and see the things and, and understand what goes into it. So Instagram is a real big uh, kind of a real big venue for you to get the glimpse of, of the beers even before they come out. And of course there's beer bloggers and just Instagram artists that just love taking pictures of all kinds of cool stuff. And then now, um, you know, a lot of brands also have Snapchat. Snapchat is a is an even more behind the scenes, behind behind the scenes. We use our Snapchat account here uh, just to the randomness of the day. You know, if you want, if you want to, not necessarily the branding of Instagram or the message delivery of Facebook. Our Snapchat is just what literally what I'm doing today. And it's kind of a fun way to, you know, just see. We are your local brewery. We're, we like to show people what we're doing, and you know, it's a cool way to, cool way to stay engaged. If you're running a brewery or a brew pub, obviously this can be a lot to try to keep track of. For Seth, it's all about connecting with people who enjoy their beer and food. It's been very, very cool to be able to have as many interactions with our customers, not just in the pub, and that's why we wanted to do a craft brewery in the pub is to be able to meet and greet and talk to people and 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 have a true pub atmosphere but it's it's crazy to see the amount of really cool meaningful interactions we have with people that are even outside of the pub whether it be on our youtube page or instagram or snapchat or facebook or twitter or untapped like it's people genuinely care about your brand and and i think people have a real brand identity when it comes to their local brewery and we appreciate that um, and it's been a great to, to have the technology be able to provide that feedback, provide those encouragement points, to provide those um, critiques at time on things that we're doing right or wrong. And it, you know, we're it's a really cool industry to be in, and it, it's really cool that so so many people have kind of embraced that collaborative. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Let's hang out. Let's be social. That's it for this week's show. Next time, the six oh five Beer and Music Festival. Until then. Drink local and drink responsible. Thank you for listening to this archived edition of Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. Feel free to listen to other episodes. And if there's anything you'd like us to talk about on a future show, please let us know. Thanks again.